Kaya, you just said this a second ago. Three hour, two minute battle. You guys have played now nine times, five to you. You knew she wouldn't give it to you. You had to earn it. What was key in that third set? Yeah, I mean, of course, she's a great player. She won so many tournaments in the past, especially on hard courts. I feel like her game is um, super dangerous, you know, and uh, you could see that the match was very close. Like all the games, we, you know, the games, the points were long and it was not, not easy, but super happy that I stayed after, especially I lost the second set super close. I was close to win it and then I stayed and won the third one. I hope you don't mind me saying this. With everything that's going on around here these last couple of weeks, you might be flying under the radar a little bit. Do you mind that or do you prefer just taking it a match at a time and no one talking too much about Karolina Pliskova? Do you mind it that way? You know, I've been having so many up and downs in my career, so uh, I'm used to both, like to be at the top, to be a little bit like down. So I just take it the way it is. And uh, I'm happy that lately in this summer in America, I was playing some good matches and you can see it on the court. I'm feeling much better, much more confident. I feel like I'm moving well. My serve is working. So I think like this, I have a chance against everybody. You can tend to be um, a quieter player on the court. I'm curious to know, how much you enjoy New York, because the fans here are loud. They love great tennis, and you guys put on a great show for them. Do you hear them? Does that encourage you? No, I love to play in New York. It was my first final of Grand Slam here uh, a couple of years back, so I have great memories on this course, on all of them. And I love to be back here and love to be back in quarterfinals. I did uh, last year as well, so hopefully I can go one step further. Thank you guys for coming. Make some noise, everyone. Karolina Pliskova.